Once again, I want to take this opportunity to welcome learners on this platform. It is great and wonderful to have you here. We cherish your presence here. Today, we shall be discussing about environmental factors affecting agricultural production. Last time we studied the part one, this time around it will be part two. Under this, the learner should be able to explain biotic factors that affect agricultural production. The learner should be able to discuss some elements of biotic factors and their effect on agriculture and explain interrelationship among living things. Biotic factors affecting agriculture, agricultural production. What are these biotic factors? Now, this refers to all the living things that affect agricultural production. Biotic factors are all the living things that affect agricultural production. Um, such biotic factors include cell organism, pests, parasites, diseases, weeds, predators, human beings. Now let's start with cell organisms. Cell organisms are the animals that live in the soil. Example are earthworm, termite, rodents, fungi, bacteria, etc. And what are the effects of soil organisms on agricultural production? Number one, fungi and bacteria can cause diseases. They aid percolation, aeration, and soil fertility. Now, some bacteria can fix atmospheric nitrogen to the soil, thereby enriching the soil. Some soil organisms cause wounds on crop plants, thereby making them vulnerable to pathogen attack. Now, some soil organisms reduce quality and quantity of crops. Soil organisms help in decomposition. Soil organisms die to add nutrients to the soil. Pests. What are pests? Pests are organisms that feed on crops thereby causing loss or decrease in production. Examples are insects, rodents, squirrels, birds, mammals, etc. Pests can, not, can also affect not just crops, they can also affect animals. Now let's look at uh, the, some of the effects of pests on agricultural production. They reduce yield of crops and animals. They reduce quality of crops and animals. They cause death to crops and animals. Some pests are disease carriers, for example, mealybugs and white flies. They reduce farmers' income. You know, when 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 the yield of crops is reduced automatically the income of a farmer is affected cost of pest control increases cost of production the next one is parasites parasites are organisms that live in or on plants or animals they have nutrients from them causing damage to them Examples of parasites are lice, ticks, tapeworm, liver flukes, doda, mesotols, and striga. The effect of parasite on agricultural production can be transmission of diseases, they reduce quality and quantity of yield, cost of controlling parasite is high, they cause damage to crops and animals. They reduce farmers' income. Diseases. This, this is the abnormal state of health of crops and animals. They are caused by pathogens, which include bacteria, 
virus, fungi, and nematodes. What are the effects of diseases on agricultural production? They reduce the yield of crops and animals. They can cause the death of crops and animals. Cost of control increase cost of production. They reduce farmers' income. Weeds. These are plants that grew where they are not planted. What are the effects of weeds? They compete with plants for space, light, water, and nutrients. Weeds harbor diseases and pests. They reduce the yield of crops. Weeds retard the growth of crops. Cost of control increases cost of production. The next one is predators. These are bigger organisms that feed on smaller organisms. Example of predators are birds, rodents, lizards, prey martins, and many more. Effect of predators. Some feed on pests and parasites of crops. Some feed on farm animals, which is harmful to animals and farm production. Some are used to control some harmful pests of crops and animals. Some predators are beneficial in agricultural production. Human activities. Human activities refer to the effect of the activities of man on agricultural production. Human farming or cultural activities improve soil fertility. Yield can increase through good cultural practices by man, such as practices, such practices include crop rotation, fertilizer application, and regular weeding. Man can also increase yield by controlling pests and diseases. Continuous cropping, bush burning, and erosion can lead to low production if not controlled. Post-planting operations like timing harvesting, storage, and processing practices reduce wastage of farm produce. Interrelationship among living things. Number one, we have competition. Competition involves the interaction among two organisms of the same or different species in which one outgrows and the other survives, while the other can neither grow nor survive. Competition can be classified into two. We have the intraspecific comp competition, and this is between members of the same species, example domestic fowls and the young chicks. Then we have the interspecific competition the first one is intraspecific the second one is interspecific competition and this uh, competition is between members of different species example flowering plants and grasses the next one is parasitism this is the feeding relationship or association between organisms in which the parasite lives on in or on the body of the host, deriving benefit from and causing harm to it, while the losses in the process. Examples are man and table, ostilagos or maize, fight of chora, palmivora, and cocoa. Then we have Altenario on tomato. Symbiosis. Symbiosis is a close association between two organisms in which both of them benefit from each other. Symbiosis is a beneficial association and each member is called a symbiont.
Now, example of symbiotic association. We have algae and fungus in lichen, protozoa in the intestine of termites, nitrogen fixation bacteria in the root of nodules of leguminous plants, bacteria in the rumen of ruminants, flowers and insects. Then the next one is commensalism. Commensalism is a relationship or an association between two organisms of different species in which one, the commensal, benefit gains while the other, the host, is not adversely or significantly affected in any way. Example of such kind of a relationship we have the remora fish and shark, oyster and crab, man and intestinal bacteria. Then we have the predation. Now predation is a type of association between two organisms in which the predator kills the other, called the prey, and directly feeds on it. The predator, which is usually larger in size and always stronger than the prey, benefits by driving its food while the prey is completely eliminated. Example of predation the hawk and chicks of domestic fowls, the lion and goats. Revision questions. Number one, discuss briefly four biotic factors that affect agricultural production. Number two, explain the following interrelationship between living things with one example for each. Competition, precisism, symbiosis, and predation. If you find it difficult to go over this video, I mean to answer these revision questions, go over this video again and that will make it easier for you to answer the question.